they say blondes have more fun. But along with that fun comes a little bit of damage, a little bit of brittle ends, a little bit of breakage, and dry hair overall. Yeah, all that comes with this fun blonde look. But nevertheless, who can resist a blonde bombshell look until it doesn't look good anymore? And then you got to figure out what you're going to do with it. Just like my client sitting right here. Hey curl friends and welcome back to Coconuts, home of the long hair society. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I be showing all my gems and jewels how to get to longer, stronger, thicker hair fast. So my client sitting right here, she decided to go blonde a few months ago with the stylist and she loved it. But she soon later learned that hmm, blondes is comes with a little bit of work and you got to be on top of it so she decided that she wants to remain light and she doesn't want to cut off the blonde damaged hair but she does want to have a new spicy creative fun look so she came to the best and I am going to give her a transformation that's going to help her keep her hair on her head without having to cut her damaged ends and it'll also give her a trendy style full of flavor not everybody be ready to chop their hair off when they do a mistake on their hair just because you have heat damage or chemical damage or any type of color damage does not mean you have to up and chop your hair off there are ways to maneuver the system and to get around damaged hair you can try a haircut you can try a coloring that's going to make your hair look and appear healthier. You can try a style that's going to protect your hair until you get some more growth and then you're more comfortable to cut or nip some pieces, you know, just a little trim. But that whole big chop thing, not everybody be ready for that. And we got to respect that. So because she expressed to me like, girl, I am not cutting my locks listen figure something out i was like i got you so because i'm trying to steer her away from using bleach and enlightener i decided to use a milder coloring to actually touch up her roots instead of taking her roots blonde i decided to take them brown copper like and that will still give an ombre effect but it will be using less chemicals and the strength level of the chemicals will be a lot lower. I only used 20 volume to color her roots and it took it up pretty well. So now I am going to put a rinse on top of the already blonde damaged pieces. Taking advantage of rinses is a really great idea if you are suffering from any type of color damage or your hair is really brittle after coloring because a rinse is something that can be shampooed out over time and it's a deposit only color meaning it's not it doesn't have any more added chemicals it just really is staining your already blonde pieces doing this method allows her to still enjoy the world of color but it also is a different way of lifting your hair without making it so susceptible to damage and brittle dry hair ends okay because if you continue to use something so strong on already damaged hair like what is you doing like you don't want your hair or something like that so no you gotta just find an alternative and something that will work now as you can see it's giving spicy it's giving fire sunset i love it this is just so caliente <laughs> So now that I have colored her hair, it's time for me to make sure it's moisturized and hydrated. So I'm going to use a pre-seal. I like to use this before I go in with heavy oils and butters. And this just seeps into the cuticle with the water that was on her hair after washing her hair. Pre-sealing your hair is so important because it really allows your hair to get thoroughly moisturize with a lighter oil before you go in with your heavier oils so now i'm going to use the magic growth oil and this is such a heavy thick oil but it is gold okay i love this thick oil and i'm going to put that all over her hair squeezing it into her dreadlock because when you have dreadlocks your hair is a lot drier than other people who have loose hair strands and when you have blonde dreadlocks oh baby you need <laughs> You need the Nile River 
up on your hair to get it moisturized because your hair is very dry. So don't be stingy with that um magic growth oil. Just go ahead and put it all over the hair. And her hair is feeling nice and moisturized, but we're not done. We're going to have to put some power to the ends. And we're going to have to repair those ends because her locks, she's been noticing that pieces have been breaking off the ends of her locks. And that's because sometimes when you color dreadlocks, especially using bleach because you have to squeeze the color into the dreadlock sometimes you don't get to rinse it out properly and it can continue to be lightening the hair even when you try to rinse it out so i think that's what happened in her case so i have to make sure i use a repair butter on her ends that's going to really seal in moisture and really keep those ends moisturized okay she doesn't want any type of cut or trim so i'm just gonna go ahead and retwist her hair but she doesn't like the typical retwisting she's more of an interlock type of babe and if you don't know what interlocking is it's a form of basically making your hair look better and less frizzy but it's a more permanent way that I don't really prefer but a lot of people like this because you don't have to keep retwisting your locks as often because interlocking allows your hair to really lock into place but it's so permanent that if you did decide that you wanted to comb your locks out interlocking makes it very hard to try to even comb your hair out you're gonna have to just go ahead and cut off your hair and i think if you are on a lock journey it's better to just retwist just in case you decide to change your mind you can comb out your hair and enjoy your loose hair but nevertheless she paying me to interlock her hair so guess what we gonna do we gonna interlock her hair so i'm interlocking the hair and bringing basically bringing up her locks closer to the root to make it look more neat and her parts look more defined and less frizzy and untamed so now it looks more kept i don't really like to use twisting gels or any type of edge controls to redo locks of any kind because over time and over the years your locks will start to get very heavy and it will start to have a ton of buildup. So your locks will no longer blow in the wind. It will be harder for your locks to dry. Your locks will start to have odor a lot or hold odor longer. And that's because you're using twisting gels and all kinds of products that are building up. I highly recommend using natural oils and butters and rose water on your locks because your hair will be able to actually eat it <laughs> and drink it without causing excessive buildup. So if you have been using twisting gels and those type of edge controls or dreadlock creams and you feel like your locks are getting heavy and they're starting to pull and break and thin out, Go ahead and do a detox on your hair. Now I have a video on it and you guys can check that out on my YouTube channel because you know I stay uploading all kind of informational videos. So I got a detox video for locks and it's very simple with apple cider vinegar and baking soda. And I also have another detox system that you can use involving clays if you wanted to remove excessive buildup that way. And you can use either of these detoxes on your locks to help remove as much buildup as possible so your locks can be blowing in the wind they can be lightweight they won't be hanging and they won't be susceptible to just breaking because of all this excessive buildup and it'll just look better and smell better so definitely refer to those videos so when it comes to interlocking i pretty much do a four corner lock i go up down left right north south east west when using this crochet hook needle thing and it really is simple and because i don't need twisting gels or anything i'm just using natural oils and water and because i'm making sure to interlock as close as i can get it to the scalp it actually ends up looking very neat without all those extra products that you really don't need so I am finished. This is my last one. And I hope you guys caught on to how I interlock. Like I said, if you are into interlocking, just know that it's more of a permanent choice versus hand coil twists, retwisting, 
you know, the other usual way that people retwist locks. So only do interlocking if you really want that neat look for longer periods of time. Now I'm just doing some plaits in the hair and putting her under the dryer so she can get more of a crimp look. And this is the final look. I was trying to convince her to cut it into a bob, but homegirl wasn't having it. But look how much healthier her hair looks. She really thought she had to cut her locks off. And I was like, no girl, before you cut it off, have some fun. And now she loves her locks again. Although she had a minor setback on her natural long hair journey, she is still gonna keep it pushing because long hair is her destiny and big hair is her birthright. Make sure to like and comment on this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.